Hey, question for you. Who do you actually want to be like? I mean, no, literally, not in theory. Like, who do you really pattern your life after? You know, when I was growing up, I was a sports guy, and it was kind of the heyday of the Pittsburgh Steelers Super Bowl era. And Lynn Swan was just awesome, right? And so I wanted to be like Lynn Swan. And so I would go out there and, you know, play football in the neighborhood. And man, I was gonna make those sort of circus catches like I saw Lynn Swan doing. And I would try to imitate him and be like him. Here's the thing about being a disciple of Jesus. Discipleship entails imitation. Discipleship entails imitation. And so if we're going to be a disciple of Jesus, it, it doesn't just mean we admire Jesus. It doesn't just mean we go to church, raise our hands, and sing praise songs to Jesus. If we're going to be a disciple of Jesus, it means we actually imitate Jesus. You know, imitation is not just the sincerest form of flattery. In the case of being a disciple, imitation is necessary to being a disciple. This is what Jesus is getting at in Mark chapter 8, a fairly well-known passage, but I want you to hear his call to imitate him in Mark chapter 8. Listen to what he says. And he called the crowd, so again, you got the crowd, with his disciples, and he said to them, if anyone would come after me, in other words, if anyone wants to be my disciple, listen, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. Um, this is a call to imitate him. Let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. In context, Jesus has just said that's what's going to happen to him. He's on his way to Jerusalem, and he's going to take up his cross, and he's going to die. And then he says, if you want to be my disciple, you've got to do the same thing. You've got to be willing to take up your cross and follow me. In other words, you've got to pattern your life after me. And Jesus' life was cross-shaped, and so our life needs to be cross-shaped. We're imitating him. We're following his pattern. And that's the third key to being a disciple is imitating our master. So when we see Jesus do something, we do it. If Jesus loves his enemies, we're like, okay, got it. I'm going to start loving my enemies. If Jesus forgives those who wrong him, we're like, okay, that's the way it's done. I'm going to imitate that. I will forgive those who have wronged me as well. If Jesus is compassionate to the hurting and the needy, then we're like, okay, I'm going to begin to practice compassion. Now, the fact is, is we may not be very good at it at first, right? We may struggle with some of this, but we realize that's what it means to be a disciple. So we just do it. We just begin to practice it. We just begin to say, okay, I saw Jesus do this. I'm going to do that because discipleship entails imitation. And there are some things we can do right away. Again, like, there's some things that may be hard, but some things like, okay, I can do that. That's not too hard for me. We can begin to be generous. We can begin to give to the needy, right? There are things where for however we're wired, whatever our personalities are, whatever our circumstances are, whatever, you know, our just life situation is, we're like, I, I can actually do that. There are other things where it's like we hear Jesus teach something, we see Jesus do something, and we begin to try to put it into practice, and we just stumble and mess it up and fail, right? And it's, we realize, man, that one's hard for me. And so here's what I would say is, if we're going to be disciples, we, we immediately begin to imitate him and put into practice the things we see him doing and the things we hear him teaching where we can. We just begin to do some of those things. And all of a sudden our life begins to change. Um, and then we look at the things where it's like, okay, I'm not very good at this one. We begin to figure out, okay, I need some guidance here. Uh, why am I struggling with this? What am I misunderstanding? What's going on inside of me that's making this hard? What learned habits over the years of just doing life my own way did I pick up that's, you know, making this hard? What fears do I have, right? We begin to just examine that area and we, be, we begin to just take a little step forward and try to get better. We unravel some of the stuff inside our own heart and soul, and maybe some things from our background or our past that have kind of messed us up a little bit. We begin to figure all that out and we begin to get better at it. And it might take a little bit of time, but we're like, I'm gonna try to figure some of this stuff out. And so begin to do what you can do immediately and then begin to slowly work on the things that are a little bit more challenging. And, and that means we're a disciple. Like, again, 
A disciple is an apprentice in Jesus' school of life. Well, when you're an apprentice plumber or you're an apprentice electrician, at first, you don't do it all super well. There's maybe some things that come a little more easy to you, and there's some things that are a little more challenging, right? Like, that's what it means to be an apprentice. Well, the same is true in being a disciple to Jesus. So we begin to do what we can immediately do, and we begin to work on what we need to begin to work on, and we practice it until we get better. So here's the action step. I would encourage you as a disciple of Jesus who's trying to imitate him, it would be this. Uh, take one step closer to imitating Jesus each day of your life. Take one step closer to imitating Jesus each day of your life, and if you do, in three years, five years, ten years, you'll look back at your life and you'll say, man, I, I'm actually a little bit more like Jesus. I'm actually quite a bit more like Jesus now than I was five years ago, ten years ago, because each day you're like, I'm just going to take one step closer to imitating Jesus. And that is central to being a disciple. If you want more on what it means to be a disciple, you can check out this playlist right up here of all these videos. There'll be some other videos over here as well from my, my channel. And if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed already, um, I believe that Bible teaching ought to be connected to everyday life. And if that sounds helpful to you, then go ahead and just click subscribe right up here. God bless you guys, and I would love to talk again soon.